What's up guys? Today I have the Ghost Tech Nautical 2 case for the Samsung Galaxy S10e. And I'm going to be doing a review on it. Alright, so I picked up this case on Amazon per usual. Check out the listing here. This was $25. So not bad for a waterproof case. I remember when the life proof cases used to be like $60 which was uh, pretty expensive at the time for sure and um, this is this is a really impressive waterproof case for your smartphone um, especially for $25 and being Ghost Tech brand I, I really like the Ghost Tech brand I think it's a pretty pretty cool brand pretty unique so the different colors that these come in is black green red and white I chose to go with the red just because it's um, a little bit more visible because I'm planning on using this like in the ocean and lakes and stuff so if I were to drop it it would be more visible I know it doesn't really look good with the blue but like I said the red is more visible so that's why I got it now this thing is IP68 waterproof which means that it can withstand a whole hour of being submerged in water up to 20 feet deep so that is pretty impressive definitely as far as I need my phone to go, I don't think I'll ever want my phone to go more than 20 feet down below water. And if it does, that's because I dropped it and I'm probably not going to get it back. The packaging here is actually pretty nice. Got this nice window showing the case. Nautical 2 here, so this is the second version. I guess they updated it because I'm pretty sure the other ones didn't go all the way 20 feet or something like that. Um, Looking at the back here, extreme proof, so it's waterproof, snow proof, dust proof, shock proof, multi-layer, non-slip grip, raised camera lip, detailed cutout, slim and precise fit. Here's a great thing about it, limited lifetime warranty. I love those. Um, typically the limited lifetime warranties just cover like uh, like defects but what's cool is that I found usually out of just normal normal wear and tear if you have a problem with the case then they'll usually take care of you for free which is awesome <clears throat> pretty pretty basic case here it's got a little magnet right there other than that there's nothing nothing more to it so the reason you're going to get this case is that it's waterproof, okay? I want to I want to tell you up front, I don't like this case to use day to day. I think using as using a waterproof case as a daily case, I think the only case that I've ever used daily that was waterproof was a lifeproof and I don't even think lifeproof makes cases anymore. But I've just found with these cheaper um, waterproof cases it's just so hard to use them every day because the speaker gets really muffled so you can't hear things as well when you're playing videos and then also the microphone when you're taking videos the microphone doesn't pick up as much noise so that's kind of crappy and then it doesn't this specific case doesn't work very well with a glass screen protector which is what I have on my phone so that's one con to it is is you really don't want to use it every day and for $25 most people can afford that for a case for some extra safety if they're going to the pool the lake the ocean especially the ocean because even though this phone is has a waterproof rating you definitely don't want to take it in the ocean because that salt water can destroy it and corrode the internals not good stuff um, so looking at the case itself Underneath is just a fake little phone slip, and then it has a has a little warning here and an installation checklist. Wants you to um, typically uh, waterproof phone cases always want you to test them out before actually putting your phone in it and trusting it. So this one comes with a wrist strap, which is really nice, which goes in through the corner of the case here. I really like this because if you're say cliff jumping or rafting or just doing something out on the water you definitely don't want to drop your phone and lose it 
So this really helps a lot with something like that. And then it comes with a little Ghost Tech sticker, which is pretty cool. Comes with some cleaning wipes to clean off your phone screen since, since this is a waterproof case, it has a plastic screen cover. So you got that to clean off your phone before putting it in. You don't want to have smudges. Here's just a little card um, promoting some more of their products. And then this is a QR code for instructions on how to work the case, how to put it on, take it off, things like that, and how to test it out. So that's nice that they include that. And the case itself, I like this. The back is a clear, like fogged out. So you can still see the color of the phone and see the Samsung logo and stuff, but it's it's more of a, it's not a glossy finish, so it doesn't get fingerprints. And um, it's just a, a nice feel to it. It's more soft. Then there's a Ghost Tech branding. So this is the back plate, if you haven't realized that. Here, let's go ahead and put this together. So usually you wanna wipe off your phone screen before putting it in, have it nice and clean, and then you put the phone in this part first. Hold on, before we do that, let's look at the inside of this case. So the inside of this case is pretty basic, just a uh, plastic, doesn't really have any um, cushioning or anything other than the outside, these corners are cushioned more, you can see. And it's pretty stiff, squeezing it. So putting the phone in face first, you probably wanna with this specific one, go in power side first, and then it just kind of snaps in there. You can tell that this case does add some extra bulk to the phone all the way around. And then putting the back on is actually really simple. You just kind of line the back up and then press down the edges, and you can see that there's like a little lip on, along the edge that it just kind of rolls into place when you apply pressure. So that's really satisfying and it makes it easy to take off as well. And it's actually kind of impressive that just that little seal there will keep it waterproof for 20 feet of depth. But you definitely want to make sure when you put this together, when you put this on, that you're going all the way around multiple times, making sure that everything is sealed up. There's no, no places where it's not push together. This is with a glass screen protector on the phone and that and it doesn't work very well as far as using the touch screen. I can show you. It's just not very responsive, I think because there's a there's a gap of air kind of with the glass screen protector underneath it just creates thickness around the edges which makes the plastic kind of bubble up and and it's just a lot of a lot in between your finger and the actual screen of the phone so it's not very responsive you're definitely gonna want to take off your glass screen protector before using this which is actually a big con in my perspective because glass screen protectors well they're kind of cheap but they're also you don't wanna they're not like something that you wanna take on and off and put a new one on every time so that is kind of a bummer in past waterproof cases I have been able to use glass screen protectors but honestly most waterproof cases don't work well with them so that's just something you're gonna have to get used to looking at the back here is really attractive see you can still see that blue color and um, you got a nice protection over the camera and it separates the area where the flash is so that it doesn't glare Oh, that's cool. So it actually, so think about this. If the cover over this, these two cameras was basically just straight across, all the way across the light. So whenever the flash turns on, it would kind of reflect, refract the light into the view of the cameras. And they bumped up, they bump up the plastic that covers the, the flashlight so that when it reflect, refracts the light, it doesn't go into the camera. So that is a really good thing that they did. And the fingerprint sensor does work on this. Um, it pretty much works just fine. They have a nice large cutout for it, really easy to, to find. And it definitely still works.
Gosh dang it. <laughs> um, it definitely works, but probably not as well as it does without. Over the top here, you got the cutouts for the microphone and some grippy texture on the sides. The bottom has rubber flaps for the ports. So notice the speaker is kind of covered up. I mean, it, it the speaker, hold up, I'm confused at this point. I think the speaker's right here, and it's... That right there is a hole for the microphone. But where's the hole for the speaker? There is none. That's probably why it gets so muffled. Dang, that's hard to get out. What the heck? Come on now. Okay. Wow. So, there's the headphone jack. I like that there's a these little symbols there to tell you what the ports are it's kinda cool there's your waterproof hole and that hole is a bit smaller you're definitely gonna have issues um, plugging a big cord into there you'll have to have an adapter or take the case off and then let's see if I can get this open uh, come on dang alright well that's another con uh, so you see what I mean guys you don't want to do this every day this is a case that you're only going to use going out onto the water to protect your phone and have that wrist strap I don't know I've never had this much of a problem it literally feels like it's glued that was like stuck I don't think it's typically that hard to get out that was like stuck I had to bite it with my teeth and pull it but there's your charging port and again there's no speaker holes that's interesting there is up top here a little cutout for the earpiece speaker and uh, but when you when you're listening to listening through the speaker it usually just kind of comes out the back here if you put your ear up to it it's really loud through here because there's kind of some airspace and if there's nowhere for that sound to go it kind of just comes into the back of the speaker and dissipates out. It's probably one of the best waterproof cases out there, but I am just not much of a fan of waterproof cases in general. But it's kind of a necessary thing when you're going out onto the water. Taking the phone out of the case is really simple. In this corner here, there's a little slot. You just get your nail under there and pry up, and then you can pretty much just pull, pull it off. It's nice that the back is flexible, so you can just pull on it and then popping the phone out is a little harder because you don't want to necessarily push on this plastic to get it out because you could push that plastic and um, ruin the waterproof seal so what I usually do is just kinda just kinda hold your hand curved so that the edges of the case hit and then just from the force it helps pop it out so that's because if you push on the plastic to pop the phone out, you could break that seal around the edge and then it will no longer be waterproof. That's going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything I missed, um, comment down below and I'll try to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.